Hi, welcome to Two Minute Writing Tips. I'm Kirsten and today we'll talk about the very real problem of writer's procrastination and what you can do about it. I suspect that it was a lot easier to be a writer back in the day of typewriters because typewriters serve exactly one purpose, to type. This was also in the era of library-based research. If you wanted to know something, you went to the library, consulted encyclopedias, and made photocopies of the pages you needed. Now we have computers which are incredible multifunctional devices. You can research and write an entire academic paper without leaving your desk. You can do your research, interview people, write, edit, do everything sitting in one place. Which is great, but the problem is that you can do a bunch of other stuff as well, and writers are very familiar with this phenomenon. There are memes about it. And you know how it happens. You minimize the document you're working on and open up a browser because you have to look something up. But then you think, I'll just quickly see if anything's happening on Facebook. Let me check my YouTube analytics. And before you know it, you've fallen down this internet rabbit hole. And next time you look at your watch, an hour has gone by. If this is a problem for you, you may want to consider getting a website blocker, which locks you out of the internet for a period of time. The functionality depends on which blocker you get, and I'll put a few links down in the description. But some of them will only block browsers, others will also block apps like email, and some will only let you use your word processing app. Some block for a specified amount of time, others work on word count, so when you've typed X number of words, everything unlocks for you. It does mean that you have to do your online research before your blocker activates, but that's not a bad strategy in terms of time management. If you struggle with willpower, this could be a solution for you. That's it for today. I'll see you tomorrow.